Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel or welcome. My name is Zoya. Um, today I have a ginormous um, collective haul for you guys. Uh, these things have been have been bought over the past three months or so. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, just keep on watching. So the first um, store that I shopped at was uh, Boohoo, and this is giant package. I bought these things over like three months ago, so around May. And I've worn quite a bit of the clothes that I'm going to show you so I can tell you guys what I think about them and if I think that they're worth buying. So the first thing that I got was a oversized denim jacket. And it just looks like this. It's kind of like a mid wash. It's not too it's not like an acid wash or like an indigo blue, but it's like a nice in between, and it has frayed edges, as you can see, just along the the hem. And it's supposed to be oversized, but it's not um, as oversized as I'd want it to be. But it still does the job. Um, the only thing about this jacket is that it is quite thin. Like, it's not a true denim material. It is some. I don't know, it's just like a super thin material, but it does work because it's good for summer because it, I'm not going to be super hot while wearing it and I can transition this into the fall and winter because I can wear sweaters and other things underneath it and it can it's not going to be super bulky because it is oversized already. Other non-black item, I'm just going to put this down is a jumpsuit and it's actually in this really beautiful navy color and it actually kind of looks black on the camera but it is a really nice deep navy and this will be easier to um, show on a try on because it is kind of awkward to show it's just a plain not a plain jumpsuit it's kind of more of a dressier jumpsuit it has a V, like a plunge neck and it crisscrosses in the back and it goes into a tapered leg. This one is probably um, my least favorite just because it does fit a little bit um, awkward around the torso area. It's kind of like a little bit loose but I do think I can fix it. Sorry about that. Um, I do think I can fix it if I take it to a tailor. This thing is probably my favorite thing in the entire haul and it's just this roughly um, little kimono jacket thing. I don't really know what to call it but it has these cute ruffles just going on the sleeves and around at the back and it's just so cute and it's really out of my um, comfort zone because I don't really like wearing things that are super girly or feminine and I really don't wear anything with ruffles like this is probably the only thing in my wardrobe that does have like ruffling around it but I just thought it kind of looked like a lingerie piece like it looked kind of like a little cute robe you'd wear like with like like a teddy or something but I like that it kind of plays into the whole lingerie trend that's going on and I actually did wear this out. Um, I wore it just with a plain cropped cami and then black jeans and then mules and then I just throw this on and I just think it adds a really romantic feminine vibe to an outfit um, and I just I really liked it. I thought it was super cute and it, it's so out of my comfort zone like I said that but it works at the same time like it just really fell in love with how this looks. And it does come in other colors as well, like pink and white. Next thing is a bodysuit. And I haven't worn this one yet. And it's just a black, I don't know if you can see, like a ribbed material. Has a nice silver zipper running down it and it is a functioning zipper. And it does have the buttons in the crotch area so that's convenient. And it's super super stretchy like this has a lot of give to it so I did I think I sized down like I got a US 2 normally I go for US 
for in bodysuits, but it is quite stretchy, so that's really nice. And I thought this would be a nice bodysuit to have. I just like the zipper, it was a cute detail. And you can dress this up and down, like it's just so versatile and I thought it would be, it was uh, reasonably priced too, so. Next thing is probably, I know I said the kimono thing was my favorite, but this is also another favorite and it's so cute. And it's basically a black fardo um, shift dress. And it just hits me a little bit above the knees. And as I just said, it's a pardo style, so it just sits right uh, across the shoulders. It has three quarter length sleeves and a little like roughly like cinched in part there, and, it ha and it's buttoned through the entire thing, which I really like. You'll see that trend throughout this haul. I really like anything that has buttons going through it. This is just the cutest dress ever. I worn it. Um, I wore it with some platforms and just like my hair in a like a little like a little bun and it's just really cute it's really comfortable and the material is really nice it's like um it's kind of almost like a crepe material but it's not that cheapy crepe material like i was actually quite pleasantly surprised with how good quality this dress is the next thing is something that i haven't worn yet as well kind of need something a little bit more like a going out occasion because as you can see it's like this metallic-y pleated, pleated material it's um just a plain halter top and it's actually like a real halter top where you have to tie it um it's not a crop top like it kind of fits me where almost exactly where my waist is so i just thought this would look nice with like white trousers or even black straight leg trousers and then just this because it does add it does add like a nice texture to an outfit um yeah i thought it was cute this also comes in cream and i kind of kind of wish i got the cream i think it would have been a little bit more to my taste but um it's nice it's it's cute <laughs> this is such a comfortable jumpsuit i've worn it twice i think and it's just a v-neck ribbed as you can see it's like this ribbed cotton material and it goes into like a culotte and then it has a belt as well to tie around um normally i don't like things that are belted i normally just take the belt off but this um jumpsuit works with the belt it looks a lot better with it um it's so comfy it's just just pure comfort like i don't really know what else to say about it it's super casual I bought it just to wear, like just to throw on when I want to go and run errands or just, you know, don't really want to think too much about an outfit. This would be a nice thing to just throw on. I think I could have sized up a little bit because it is a little bit tight in the crotch area. I do have a longer torso, so I think a US 6 would have been a little bit better. But yeah, it's just really nice. It comes in other colors, so I've, I've been eyeing the nude, nudish color one. It's just something nice to have in your wardrobe that you can just throw on and it's an entire outfit so yeah I like this last thing is it looks like a circle skirt but it's actually a bandeau top and it's like a flowy bandeau top or tube top which I'm used to calling it um, it's like this in a super cheap kind of jersey material but it wasn't really cheap um, it wasn't really expensive so I thought this would be cute to just throw on with some mom jeans and then just call it a day. It's just something super simple to throw on. That's it for Boohoo. We're gonna move on to Zara. And I've been really, really, really into Zara lately. I actually went in not too long ago and I was just so happy with what they've been having. I'm just gonna jump right into it the first thing this is what I got recently and it's just a pair of white like the kind of they're not culottes I would say they're more like three-quarter length trousers like they're not culotte -y. I don't know you guys will see it in the try on you guys can tell me it has a little slit on the side of the pant so yeah like when you walk you kind of get a little bit of ankle cleavage like it looks really nice these are $45 or $45.90 
I think they're worth it. They're very well made and I feel like Topshop, you know, Topshop does trousers not exactly like this, but they do trousers, like clean trousers, and they go for like 50 to 80 bucks. So I think this is like reasonable, not cheap, but reasonable. A pair of trousers is something that I've been wanting for a while, and it's more of a trendy piece. It's just like these pleated, again, like kind of straight like trousers, they kind of are thick quarter length trousers, and yeah, they're in just like this really nice pise material. Waistband is super thick, so it just kind of just sucks you in. I got this in a small. I could have fit it extra small, but I, I could only find a small, and I was, I was okay with it. It does fit really nicely. These were 39, so they were. I for some reason thought they were 35. I think I didn't really look at the price very well, but um, I think they're worth it. I really like these trousers. They fit really nice. They are like one of those trendy pieces, so. Um, I'm sure you can find something like this for a little bit cheaper. I know Boohoo does something similar to this, but I'm not too sure how much um, those ones are for. So those are the two trousers I got from Zara. The next three things are tops. So I'm just going to pull out whatever. This one I actually got in this um, sale. I didn't get much in the whole the giant sale that they were having. I didn't really find anything and I feel like I'm I'm a very fussy shopper. I don't like scrummaging through piles and piles of clothing just to find something. Like I don't know, I just don't have the patience for it. So I kind of saw this on the hanger and I thought it was really cute and I don't know if it's gonna show up. It's just like a really thin ribbed material. It's just like a plain top. It's not really cropped, but it's not like full length. The thing that drew me to it was the neckline. It's like a straight neckline, so it kind of just goes straight across your your decollete. Like it looks really nice. I like anything with a straight ne neckline. I think it's super elegant. Something super simple. And this was on sale. This was like ten dollars. So that's the only thing I got in the sale. The next two things are bodysuits, and they're bodysuit. And it's like this high neck bodysuit, and it's it's not real silk, but it's that like kind of like that polyester shiny material that mimics silk um, it's super comfortable it's lined really nicely so it's not super see-through and it is a bodysuit and so it goes into a bodysuit like that and it kind of reaches out so it kind of looks like you just tucked in your shirt it doesn't fit like to your body because the material like this kind of material you don't want to be tight fitting because it's not very flattering so you guys will see in the try on how it fits it's really nice I wore this with mom jeans and like a thick black choker and just this and it was just a really cute outfit you could dress this up and down which I like I got it in black which is really stunning I don't know I think I might like the black a little bit more just because I feel like silky like anything that's black and like in a silky material it's like super um, really nice and it's yeah exactly the same thing Zara got a bag and it's this bag it's so cute it's just this um obviously full croc skin bag and it's just like I don't know what this would be called like a tote bag I really like the fact that it's croc skin and then the shape of it's really nice I've already like worn it worn it yesterday and um, it carries actually quite a lot of stuff like it has like a, a zipper like right in the middle and then two big compartments like in between the zipper and you have like this little clip to kind of clip it in place which isn't really like super secure but anything like super important I would put in the zipper compartment and yeah I just thought it was really nice and I, I like to just hold it just hold it and go brand new Melville slash American Apparel. First thing from brand new Melville is something you guys have probably seen everywhere. It's super, again, trendy. Um, it's that whole, you know, band tee kind of trend that's been going on. And so I got a Led Zeppelin, like this has been like everywhere. It's a Led Zeppelin one basically. Um, I love, I love it. But, I don't love the price. This was super 
overpriced like I was actually very like taken aback by how much I bought this for this was like what $50 Canadian I was like oh. like it's really nice like I've gotten my money's worth because I have worn this quite a bit like it's nice to just chuck on with this and like jeans and I'm like out the door um, I do like it and I don't necessarily regret buying it but I've seen exact same things on like Amazon eBay for a lot cheaper so if you don't want to you know fork out that much money for just a plain band tee go on eBay and Amazon you will for sure find something something that you will like I've been eyeing this for a while and it's just like a plain v-neck cami it's really um, wrinkled so I definitely have to iron it but it's just a v-neck little crop cami and this isn't the real silk material this one is in that polyester like mimicky silk material but it's really flattering um, it does have adjustable full straps which is nice and yeah, it's just really cute. I love, I've been like, anything that's like a silk v-neck cami, like I just gravitate towards and I will buy. Like I think it's just so cute and just really cute with like a choker, like even this and that I think would be really nice. I feel this one is actually the, the real deal, like the real silk material and it's like this, again, like you, it's very popular. Um, it's. I forgot what it's called. I think it might be called the Lisa Silk Tie Top or something. But yeah, it's just like this really pretty cream colored silk top that ties right in the middle. I thought this would be really nice uh, for going out, just wearing like a really cute bralette underneath and like a choker. Just really, really wanted this for a really long time and I'm happy I got it. I really want the black one. I think the black one would be really nice to have as well. Is a bodysuit and it's super, I've worn this twice already, and it's super comfortable, and it's just this plain black, um, I don't think it'll show up, it's just like a really thin ribbed material, um, kind of like a thin knitted ribbed material, and the back is super low, and yeah, this unfortunately doesn't have any um, clips at the end, so you like literally have to take it off. I don't wear this with a bra, like... You could wear a sticky bra with it or pasties, but I just don't because you don't really see anything anyways. It's super comfortable, it's really soft. The next thing is just one thing from American Apparel, and it's the, this one is the linen version. This is just like the wrap top. Um, I'll show you in the try on, like there's no reason to be like, you guys won't really see much of it, but yeah, it's just like a top that ties in the front it's super super cute um, it does come in a crepe material but I decided on the linen one just because I really like I really love linen um, it is a little bit itchy but um, I think it just looks really cute yeah I thought it was really nice to wear like again like a black bralette underneath and like skinny jeans like it's just super cute and I've been seeing it on the American Apparel Instagram page and every time I see it I'm just like oh I really really want it so I got it and I've been wanting this for a while too so I just kind of splurged on it sorry I kind of moved you guys a little bit closer because I felt like I was a little bit too far from the camera um, going on with the haul I still have a whole bunch more to show you guys ASOS I've been really really loving ASOS the um this is two orders so this is not one giant order i don't even know let's just dive into the box so the first thing that i got i got quite a bit of dresses in this haul or in this like asos order so the first thing first dress is this one from monkey monkey i don't know how to say it. monkey i don't know yeah and it's just like this um button up like button through all the way through um shirt dress and it's kind of hard to show you guys but looks like that it has short sleeves and it's rolled up and yeah it's buttoned through all throughout the only thing about this one is that i feel like the collar is supposed to be like inwards like this but i personally like it to be folded out so the lapels like actually show 
Um, I did wear this yesterday actually and it was really comfortable, very comfortable dress. It's just that um, I actually double sided, like I took some double sided tape and like tried to like stick the collars down that way but it kept like kind of, I kept having to like adjust it and stuff so I might have to just like turn them out and then just iron them straight so they kind of stay that way because I feel like it um, with the collar, with the lapels out, it's just more of a, it's more flattering. Like I don't like the colors inwards. I don't, it looks weird to me. It's quite similar. Um, again, button through all throughout. It's kind of undone there. So yeah, it's buttoned all throughout. And it's just like this really cute white summer dress, I would say. It's in this really nice soft material, like soft cottony material online it says sorry about that <laughs> online it says it's in a woven material so i don't know really i guess it's mixed fibers but so soft it's like really really soft and it has really thin spaghetti straps it's non-adjustable nice v-neck and it has pockets i'm just gonna try to ignore my phone um yeah it has nice these pockets are really deep like i could fit like like my compass card or some change or something in it so yeah really nice dress i wore in this and it's just uh yeah it's really comfortable the third jumpsuit i got in this haul and this jumpsuit is my all-time favorite jumpsuit ever like you guys will see in the try on how flattering it is it's just like the most flattering jumpsuit ever and it's just this bardo style Fardo style again jumpsuit and it goes into a like basically palazzo pants like really wide like pants like that and it's so nice this is like the most flattering jumpsuit I've ever worn it just sucks you in and it just it's so nice oh. and it just it I feel like the palazzo pants just elongates your legs the fardo like neckline just you know um, it's so flattering in general so like both combined is just like so nice and it's super comfortable it's in a really nice like stretchy thick cotton material it's not like that cheap cheapy material so it does like it it feels nice on the body and it doesn't look cheap um, it does come in tall and petite I think this is just like the regular regular one but yeah it's really really pretty and it's just this, um, the one thing that attracted me to this dress was the, was a print. I just found it so pretty. And it's just like this abstract floral print. And it goes into like a color block towards the end. So like that is so pretty. Like I just, like I saw it on the model and I was like, wow, that's such a pretty floral print. And I don't really wear floral at all. Um, I don't wear prints at all really, but this really, um, stuck out to me because it's first of all monochromatic so it's right up my alley and yeah it's just really nice it's just like a maxi dress um has like a cute little bar detail in the back and yeah it's really flattering it's in that it's in a really like cheap polyester material but um i i just like love the way that it feels despite the material but i feel like it works because it does make it it is super like light and airy and really comfortable to wear the next thing is from the asos brand and it's just this black silk slip dress as you can see and this is actually a like more of like a maxi midi dress it wasn't full maxi but it was like probably like three quarters away from my ankle um i actually cut this <laughs> um as you can see very amateur cutting but i didn't really care because the whole frayed frayed hem look is in anyway <laughs> um more so for denim but we're, we're gonna make it work i cut it just because i felt like the length of this dress wasn't very flattering um given the material and the cut it just looked too much like a nightgown like a nighty. I know this doesn't I know this looks straight up like a nighty, but it's more easier to work with it's more easier to like dress down because of the length if that makes sense 
Um, this does come with a belt, like a same material, just like a really thin belt to tie around. But um, when I bought this dress, I had the intention of wearing it without the belt because, like I said, I don't really like things that are belted. I like things kind of more straight down on me. Um, I don't know if this is like actual silk, but it's really nice material. Uh, let's see. I don't know, this is polyester, but it doesn't feel like that cheap polyester like the Brandy Melville and the Zara bodysuits. Like this actually feels like, if I didn't know, I would guess this was silk because it is really like soft and like thick and like a nice material, you know? So yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's the last dress from ASOS. It's again another satin silk cami and it's in this really, really pretty champagne color. Like, oh! So pretty. Um, online, actually, I thought this was cream or like white, but I was actually pre pleasantly surprised because I prefer this color more. Cause I already have a white one from Brandy, so it's nice to have like another color. Um, it's a little bit more gold in person. I think the camera's washing it out a little bit. But yeah, this is again, this is from New Look and I got it in a size 10 because that was the smallest size available. I tried this on with black trousers and like a thick black choker and it just looked so pretty because I feel like champagne and gold with black just looks stunning. Um, I'll show you guys in the try on hopefully. It just looked really pretty and I really like it. And that's it for the ASOS, like for the clothing. Part. Um, the next things are actually accessories and these two things I've been like loving. I got a lot of compliments on them and they're chokers and so the first choker is just like this really dainty bar kind of, I don't know, chain bar kind of thing. Super super cute and this actually goes really tight. Like. I used to have a lot of trouble finding chokers that fit really nicely on my neck because I have, I don't know if you can tell, but I have a really thin neck. But this one goes really tight so I can have it like up to here and it'll fit. Um, I love this choker. It's so dainty and just so pretty and it's really nice to layer with as well. The next thing is probably my favorite thing. And this is like, like a choker again and it goes straight down. This is actually a body chain, but the body chain part broke. I wore it yesterday with the monkey um, shirt dress. I wore this like that, and then I wore the other choker on top, so it's like flared. Um, and then like you can see the the drop part like coming down like in between the lapels. It looks really really pretty. I am absolutely in love with this choker. Like it just it's so simple and so sleek, it just adds something to an outfit and anything that kind of has like a v-neck or anything that kind of like goes downwards and like having this in between, like it just, it just looks so cool and like so like, like edgy, you know, just really edgy. And the last two, um, last two accessories I got from Misawas I'm wearing and it's actually this skull ring, I don't know, this one right here. Just a plain skull ring and then I got like this thumb ring. It's a little bit big and it kind of just looks like teeth to me. Like it looks like but they're like little spikes and the, this ring is actually from where is it from? This one's from the Great Frog London. I bought it for myself for my birthday. Thought I would treat myself you know because I don't have a shopping problem right? 